Hello and welcome to this bonus sketchbook tour. Um, so yeah, this is just a short sketchbook tour I want to do because I just want to show you what all I have in this big sketchbook of mine. So let's get into it. So here's our first page. Um, so I got this sketchbook on my 18th birthday. As you can see here, a gift from Sandra Perez, your beloved friend. Happy birthday, David. And here's a picture of her, and uh, she, I tried to draw her here based on the picture. So yeah, my, my friend, she gave this to me because she knows how much I love drawing. So yeah, I got the sketchbook like February of 2018. The first thing I drew is a Kingdom Hearts fan art. As you can see, the power of light and dark. We have Sora standing on Moonlight Hill in Nightmare Before Christmas, Halloween Town. Here's another image I found. This image, I actually found it off of Pinterest and I just decided to draw it just cause I really love it. Um, some girl growing roses within her skin. Yeah. Uh, so this was my first attempt in watercolor here. So I just decided to draw artist aesthetic here because this is what defines me and yeah as you can see here I wasn't really good with watercolors but I tried my best. Uh, this is a uh, painting, one, again another watercolor painting of me falling down, actually drowning to Wonderland. So when I was little I had this dream where uh, in my backyard, I have a creek in my backyard, like I fell in the creek and all of a sudden the creek was like ocean deep and then I drowned and that's how I came to Wonderland and then after that I just woke up in the bizarre room that room where you find the uh the drink me potion and the eat me cakes and all that so yeah it was a really memorable dream to me in my childhood Considering that Alice in Wonderland is my favorite. It was my favorite and my first movie I've watched as a kid. Here has another Kingdom Hearts fan art. As you can see, memories of Lightwave, there's Sora. Ah, and here's Luffy. I did this with colored pencils. Um, this was the time when I was into One Piece and I was, when I started watching One Piece. I don't watch it anymore because it's just hard to catch up to it. Uh, and here's another Kingdom Hearts fan art. Um, this is Sora with Pooh. I guess they're in like the ocean and I don't think Sora, I don't think he looks good right there. He looks just, ugh. Ah, and this was my first ever 21 Pilots fan art. Uh, this was, this was done like I believe around March. Uh, as you can see, there's Josh Dunn and Tyler, this is the scene from the stressed out music video, as you can see. Here's a painting of a girl in a greenhouse. I guess this girl has like, um, has the power to make plants grow. So that's why she's around there and you can see she's trying to make this plant grow. Yeah, I also did this, I also redrew this digitally um, for Earth Day, so, but I don't think no one really cared about that. Some color palette practice, and as you can see, there's Vincent, and I kind of got the wrong skin color there. And here's more color palette practices with my markers and watercolors. Here's Vincent on the bus, and this is how I'm always on the school bus, sleeping. It's, it's a common type of people you see in the bus. Oh. So this is a painting of my first ever sleep paralysis um, experience. Long ago I had sleep paralysis and it, I, I believe it's because I sleep on my back too much and yeah, I could not move at all and then I swear I saw some sort of shadow demon because I've heard that people see shadow demons in their paralysis sleep. My cousin said that he saw his lamp turn into some 
witch shadow figured and it was a scary experience to me and so I decided to do this like dreamy aesthetic but yet creepy and I've also um, redrew this digitally uh, you can find a speed coloring video in my channel I, I also did that my name's blurry face and I care what you think my name's blurry face and I care what you think. Here's another Kingdom Hearts fan art. This is Vanitas, and this is the part where uh, Vanitas is in Monstropolis using the Unverse to uh, collect the negative emotions out of the children. As you can see, he's standing like right in front of Boo's door and I guess just waiting for Sora. Uh, this, I actually got it off an image off of Pinterest, but I decided to add a background because the original image only had Vanitas and these two props. Can you save? Can you save my heavy, dirty soul? Can you save? Can you save my... Can you save my heavy, dirty soul? Ah, and this is, uh, an iconic moment from 21 Pilots. It's when... Tyler, uh, I don't know, has the pride flag and singing I'll be holding on to you while the crowd is, you know, holding him. I, I really love, I, I just think it's a really iconic moment for Tyler and 21 Pilots as a whole. So, and I actually did this for Pride Month, so, so yeah. This is another image I got off of Pinterest. I, this is all done with watercolors. Again, I tried my best. This was during my early stages of learning to use watercolors. This beat is a chemical. Beat is a chemical. Sipping on straight chlorine. Some Silent Hill fan art. As you can see, we got the we got the iconic pyramid head here, and that's uh, Alessa. Oh, and uh, spoilers. Spoiler alert for those who haven't seen Stranger Things season three. Um, I, so yeah, uh, you've been warned. So yeah, this is, uh, Stranger Things season three fan art, Justice for Alexi. He was, I don't know why, this is something I don't like about Stranger Things is that most of the characters that I bonded with, like, I don't know, like, Bob and Alexi, like, all the characters that I, you know, that I really love and bonded with just die. And that's one thing I really hate about. And Alexi, he didn't deserve to die. <laughs> Here's a Poison Ivy drawing. Yeah. Here's a, another 21 Pilots fan art. This is from the music video, Fairly Local. Again, done in watercolors. Still learning. And here is my one of my best Scarecrow fan art from DC. You know, as you know, Scarecrow is my favorite DC villain, Batman villain. You have him and his like him as Doctor Crane, and as he's like spreading the fear gas, you see the Scarecrow right behind him. You know, um, and here is this little sort of little artwork I did with watercolors. So I decided to choose like a Disney princess and draw a flower that kind of represents them. We have Belle. I drew the rose because of an of the enchanted rose. Tiana, I drew a lily pad flower because, you know, she's a frog and it takes place in a swamp. Rapunzel, I drew the golden lily because that's where her powers come from, the golden flower. Snow White, I drew like a dogwood apple tree, you know, because the poison apple that she took a bite from. Some watercolor practice there. Cinderella, because of the pumpkin carriage, and I drew like a pumpkin and a pumpkin flower. Aurora, I just drew like a pink rose because of the forest of thorns that Maleficent covers the whole castle with thorns and I guess I should have made the thorns more noticeable. Um, then we have Ariel because I think in the movie she kind of wears this pink tropical flower. 
As for Jasmine, I just drew like an Arabic flower of some sort. And then Mulan, I drew cherry blossoms because I think those are common in Asia. As for Alice, I drew a rose, but a white rose, but instead it has like red paint on it because, you know, painting the rose is red. And as for Anna and Elsa, I didn't, I don't know what kind of flower would represent them, so I just drew what I see in their designs, like the snowflake and some sort of flower pattern design Anna has in her clothes, I guess. And then as for Moana, I just drew like a, your typical tropical flower. Ah, and here's a brand new, the band brand new fan art I did. Um, yeah, I, lo I really love this band and something about their cover, I don't know, just, just, just makes me think about stuff like their album cover. Like I used to find it creepy, but now I don't. And yeah, you can also find a digital speed coloring video in my channel of this. Yeah. And I really rec highly recommend you guys listen to this band. I recommend you listen to God and the Devil Are Raging Inside of Me. That, that's a good one for starters. Ah, and here are some concepts for my good man, Felix Goodman, or Chipper, as we like, as I, as I call him. Um, so yeah, this, these are just the many poses of Chipper. Um, we have him with his baseball bat coming at you, ready to smash you in the head with it. And then we have him ready to hit something, him running. He runs a lot, and I think here I have him, like, hurt. I don't know if you can see him. He he gets hurt a lot. Uh, so, yeah. You can kind of see that I colored this, but I didn't finish because when I was coloring his skin, the skin color marker that I had ran out of ink. So I have to go get another one, and I have to come back and finish coloring this. The many poses of Vincent Ravel, so another of another character of mine. I have not finished coloring the flag and the torch that he carries. Some character concepts here. Uh, and here's a Percy Pride, which is like my first LGBT character here. Um, yeah, I did this in support of Pride Month, and here is the actual artwork I did for Pride Month of 2020. Um, so yeah, I have made a, I, I've also made a, I made this digital, actually, the finished, the actual finished artwork is digital. You can see it on my Twitter or wherever, or you can uh, find a coloring, speed coloring in my channel. I've made one of that, too. Uh, and, um, here is a artwork drawing I forgot to finish pretty much um yeah I pretty much forgot that I had this sketchbook because I was too busy learning to draw digitally but um but yeah I will I'm I might come back someday to finish this and maybe even do it digitally I think it's Vincent walking on ropes in like a skyscraper is what I was gonna do but yeah, as you can see. And here are some more unfinished drawings that I haven't even finished coloring. I think these and these I was going to do with watercolor because I I just want to le learn more about watercolor. Here's some more vibe artworks I did that I always do, like last time. That I always loved to do last time with color pencils. And here they are, uh, you know, in a much better version of this. Um, here are some Silent Hill monsters I did. I really love, I was looking up the concept art of Silent Hill, and I really love the way they're drawn. Um, just all s sketchy and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, this is some unfinished artwork I was going to do with the... Uh, with markers. I guess the reason why I did not fill out the sky is because, you know, my blue marker will not, uh, it's not going to cover the whole page and, uh, it's going to run out of ink. So that's why I just kind of gave up on it because I don't 
know what else to do it unless I buy the Copic markers wide. The many expressions and heads of Vincent Ravel. More head practice, side view, this is what I was doing. And more um, anatomy studies and all that stuff, yeah. I was using other ways to draw torsos and just these easy ways, which I believe this method to me kind of works, sort of. Um, well, I don't know, because I have not put a lot of practice in this, but I don't know. We'll see about that. As you can see, this is how I draw poses, torsos and all. So trying to discover my own methods here, my own style. And here are some more poses and gesture drawings. I think these poses I was going to use specifically for Vincent when I, for his like character design sheet. Um, I was just trying to like find a pose that defined him the most. Um, as you can see here, more poses I drew, just trying to find the one that defines him the most. And as you can see, this sketchbook is unfinished. I just wanted to show y'all what I have left of, in this sketchbook. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna finish this sketchbook. It's probably been like two years now. Uh, I don't know, but I guess maybe when when I take a break from digital drawing and go back to traditional, then I might be able to uh, go back to this. But yeah, so that's it for this bonus sketchbook video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all like it. See you in the next video.